Welcome back everyone, welcome back to the French Cooking Academy. My name is Stefan and this is our recipe day. Now following on how Tuesday video, we've learned how to make this and which is actually a sweet short crust. It's called in French the pâte sucrée. We're now going to be able to move on today to the uh, practical session and try to see how can we use this and what is the purpose of using that pastry dough, that sweet uh, short crust. And uh, today as an exercise we're going to realize a French style a lemon tart. Now I'm saying French style lemon tart because the filling we're going to be using today is called a lemon cream and it's not exactly the same as what you may know as the lemon curd. It's using a different technique and it can be used with different flavors. So not only lemon, for instance, you can also use it with orange. So if you want to learn maybe a few things today, stay tuned and keep watching the video. Welcome back. So today we are making the famous French style lemon tart and I think it is a really interesting exercise today because uh, that French style lemon tart really is composed of two important uh, technical uh, things we can cover. The first one is uh, blind baking uh, or how to blind bake uh, this short crust which is the sweet short crust and then the second one is how to create a lemon cream. Now the lemon cream that we're going to see today is a derivative from the pastry cream and it can be flavored with different types of fruits. So it can be done with lemon and orange mainly, but if you're adventurous, you can use anything like pineapple, mango, any fruit you, any fruit you want to make something more exotic. Now back to the uh, first thing about the blind baking, I uh, just want to give you some information as why do you actually need to blind bake and what is the difference between the, the normal types of tarts like you know the apple tart that goes straight into the oven and that one here that you have to blind bake. Well, it's, it's, it's kind of simple. You use the blind baking techniques which is basically creating an empty tart shell that is going to be pre-cooked in the oven for preparation in French cooking uh, that use either fresh fruits and that cannot uh, with, uh, withhold like the heat, so for instance strawberries, raspberries, uh, red fruits, and that's the number one, you can't put them in the oven, so you need to have that tart shell. Or if you use like today a, a cream uh, that's going to be pre-cooked in a pan and you're just going to kind of pour over, so anything a bit like liquidish that does not go in the oven. This is why we actually blind bake uh, that uh, type of short crust. And this is also why that short crust is called the sweet short crust because you have to eat it a bit, it's a bit like a biscuit, huh? it's got a lot of sugar in it and uh, if you make it in smaller mold like little tartlets it's a very nice kind of dough to eat even on its own so it's quite interesting because you get that, that kind of biscuity flavor that you can mix with some uh, pastry cream with fruits or you know like this a lemon cream or all kinds of other things even a chocolate tart you could make with it it's quite interesting but enough talking now let's go for the demonstration all right, so let's start. When it comes to the sweet short crust pastry that you've got here, uh, very important that you take it out of the, uh, the fridge way before you're preparing or you're going to uh, use that dough huh? because you need to have it in a workable consistency. So as soon as it's off the fridge like that, you're just going to make it into a bowl and try to work it a little bit before we're going to be using it. And you're going to give it a shape that's going to be convenient for you. So usually I'm doing some kind of a rectangle shape. So now that the dough has got the right consistency, it's ready to be rolled out. But word of warning, before you rush to your rolling pins here and start flatten that dough, you need to know that a sweet short crust is actually very difficult to handle. And what I mean by that is that once it's flattened with a, a rolling pin, and it's very easy to flatten, but once it's flat, it is very hard to transport over your mold like this. So you can't really roll it onto a pin or carry it with your hand because it's got a massive tendency to break. And that is so frustrating. So today I'm just going to show you a technique that I found. I've looked at different ones and the one that I thought that was the easiest to make that process as stress-free as possible. Now the first thing I'm using is this. This is a simple silicone mat. You can buy it online or some baking shop. I've got a link in the video description for it. And it gives me a surface to work on that's kind of it's got some grip. And if I want to move the dough when it's laid out on, 
I can move this around, which is very handy. Next, I'm going to place my uh, tart mold here. This is a type with the removable bottom. So I'm just going to use the bottom straight off, put it on here. And just to give you an indication in size, this is about 9 inches or 23 centimeter in diameter. Next, I'm going to take a little flower and I'm going to just do a very light dusting all over to prepare for my dough. Finally, I've got my dough that I'm going to place right on here, so straight off, so it's already on the mold. And using the rolling pin, I'm going to slowly start to really flatten that dough. But you have to be really gentle and take your time if it's a bit too hard. Huh? So you do this. And then you can work the other side and you kind of start to make your way and flatten that to try to fill that circle. So once you've almost reached the edge eh, of, your, of your tart shape here, what I'm doing, you see it's very easy. I can just move that whole thing like that. And then I'm going to repeat the process of rolling the other way. And same thing, very gently, I'm just going to flatten it and flatten it. So once you're done, you can see that this has totally exceed the side, but it doesn't matter because we can cut and reuse the excess of dough. But from here, then it's the matter of getting very gently all the sides inside that base so that we can carry it after inside our mold. Finally, using a spatula like that, you can lift uh, your base and like a waiter, look at this, boom, I put that here, done. Only thing left now is to unfold everything once more, everywhere, and you've got your dough inside your mold. And now, to cut the excess, I'm usually using uh, a change rolling pin, and you can just cut everything like this, and in one go, you basically have your excess dough that you can reuse for little tartlets and you got your inside that we're going to be gently that's the word always with this type of dough uh, apply some pressure so we've got a nice and neat base next step for the pre-baking you're going to preheat your oven at 200 degrees celsius or it's 396 fahrenheit when it's done when it's preheated take a parchment paper and you pour in ceramic beads or you can use like dry beans or anything that's used for blind baking. I'll try to put a link on the video description for that. And this is what you're going to get. All right. When you got that, you're going to put this in the oven and we're going to leave it to cook for 20 minutes. Time is up. It's been 20 minutes. It's out of the oven. And just to show you, remove the beads. And this is what you get. Now from here, if you want, you can put it back in the oven while removing from the mold to get a bit more color but I like to keep it a bit that way to give you an idea how it looks like this is the small one I've made the tartlets and this is the back and this is simply an empty tart shell that you can use with all kind of cold preparation for dessert and now we're ready to make the lemon cream to finish that lovely French style lemon tart and now let's make the lemon cream. Now the lemon cream is using the exact same technique as the standard pastry cream. And with the difference that instead of using milk today, we're going to be using a lemon juice. Huh? So this is for the fruit based type of cream. So it's a lemon cream because we use lemon juice. If you use orange juice, it's going to become an orange cream and so on and so forth. So I'll put all the details and the ingredients list in the video description. And now for the demonstration for the lemon cream and you start with an empty pan like this we're going to pour the caster sugar first mix with the lemon juice and we're going to bring that mix to the boil next you're going to pour your cream in a little pan like this and you're going to also bring it to the boil as soon as the uh, lemon syrup here reach the boil you turn the heat off and when the cream as well reach the boil, you do the same and you also turn the heat off. Next, you're going to blanch your eggs, so the full eggs, with the egg yolks, with a little bit of sugar. Break them all very quickly. You're going to incorporate and whisk everything quite vigorously until you get a bit of a whitish color coming in. 
All right, it's not exactly white because we don't have too much sugar, but that's it. You get a bit of a foamy mix there. You're gonna incorporate then your corn flour, or this is actually custard uh, powder. This is what we use a lot uh, in French cooking for desserts. It's normal, and you're gonna mix it very well. When this is done, you take your syrup uh, that was on the heat, and we're gonna slowly incorporate it in the mix. Next, using the same pan no, that we had the syrup in, you're going to take this and you're going to pour that mix we've just made back in and we're going to put it back on the heat. When your pan is back on the heat, you turn the heat on medium-low no, because we're going to bring this to the boil. Now, foam here is always something you're going to have to deal with uh, and most of the time it can be addressed very quickly and simply by using one of those utensils here, a little sieve. Uh, so you're going to scoop all the foam and put it in another container. Now that's good enough, it's not perfect, but it's okay. So from here, we're gonna bring that mix to the boil to get the same effect as we have when we make a pastry cream. So this mix has to boil. I repeat, you keep on stirring like this until it boils and it thickens. So very quickly, I just wanted to show you. You see how that mix thickens? It goes very fast, just a few minutes. Uh, and you just make sure it's got a few bubbles in there for one minute and then we're going to turn the heat off. Lastly, you turn the heat off and we're going to pour the uh, hot cream in there. When the cream is in, just slowly incorporate it. Once the cream is incorporated, you pour everything in a clean container and you're going to wait until that reach room temperature before we lastly incorporate the butter. Finally, the last and final step when your uh, cream is at uh, room temperature, you incorporate some beurre pomade, which is a butter that is extremely soft, as you can see. So little bit by little bit, you're going to throw some pieces in and then whisk them in until they kind of melt and incorporate. And you repeat the process with all the pieces of butter. Et voilà, all done. This is the consistency we're looking for and I'm gonna pour that straight in into my tart shell. All right, let's pour that in. And now the last step consists of taking a spatula like this. I'm not again, not an expert and try to polish that top and make it all straight. And that's it, we've done it. We've made the lemon tart. The only thing left now is to let it set in the fridge and then decorate it and maybe we can add a little syrup at the end on top. Oh, would you look at that? The lemon tart has been decorated and it's been really a shine. As you can see that shine here, this is some clear syrup I've used to brush on the top and a few slices of lemon has really, really enhanced that look. And it really looks like a kind of a French bakery lemon tart. Even though I'm not a fan of lemon, I have to say it does not look too bad. But that's the end of the video. I hope it was useful and you've learned two things today. Remember the blind baking and how to make a lemon cream. If you like the video as always, uh, thumbs up, give it a like, drop me a comment if you have any questions and if you want to become a patron to support me and my work, please do so on my Patreon page. I hope to see you all on Tuesday. Have a good time. Bye-bye.